And I am joined by a resident who also happens to be a household name here, local rugby league legend Ron Coots. Ron, thanks for joining us today. No worries. This, mate, is, yeah. this has been your home for a long time. It has, yes, mate. Since uh, 1984, we built here. Yeah. Well, no, before that, but you know, we've lived here since 1984. Yeah. So, when the fires came through, what happened to you? Well, um, it, it, the fires uh, um, started up on the highway, which is two and a half kilometres from where we live, yeah. and um, it happened so quickly that we were just all of, all of a sudden it was, it was on top of us, you know. Um, we, we, we were defending there, I had, we had um, uh, fire hoses, we had pumps and fire hoses and you know we had to the, the, uh, use the water out of the swimming pool. But uh, then you know it sort of got up into the, into the, into the, uh, the eaves of the house and, and uh, we defended all around it and cleaned all of, had it all. Um, <laughs> You've had all, all the preparations you could have yeah. done. And then what happened to the house? Well, she went up, mate. Yeah, it's my, my house and my daughter's house next door. Yeah, they Sorry they to hear both that. went up and my son-in-law, yeah, they, they, we lost them, lost everything too. It's, it's a bit daunting of a morning when you, when you get up when and you've happens. got no clothes to put on. You think you used to go to the drawer and pull something out and away you go. But uh, no, that's, that's unfortunately, that's, that's happened. But that's, that's life and we'll go on with it. We're not going to... I'm not going to let this interfere with our, our great life that we had down here. And know, Robin, and Robin, your wife, she survived by jumping in the lake? Well, that was another story. Um, they were, I was up in, with the fire hoses and, and uh, they were, I would sort of lost track of what happened to them and then mm. they, I hear it after the story that they were down, walked down to the, well, ran down to the, where the pontoon, we got a pontoon there on the mm. lake and they finished by having to jump in the lake, the three of them, this, they're all 75 and they're all, all in the lake <laughs> and my daughter Natalie who sort of helped them all down and all that sort of stuff and she um, and she um, and they, they and they were swimming out they were swimming out a mm. long way and had to tread water at the tread we're water. actually going to speak to Robin a little later and and the man who rescued her on the uh, on the jet ski yeah but right now as we speak I saw your community in action last night and it was quite wonderful to see people pulling together at this most difficult of times but the trouble yeah. is you've got nothing You've got no water, no power, no food. And you can't leave. And you can't leave. <laughs> yeah. So what's your message now to, to the, the, the people watching it in power? What do you want to say well, to them? Well, you, you've got to say, I mean, the, the, the number one message is this, um, the fires every, all the time that are coming now. That, mm. that never used to happen years ago. And, and I think they've got to get back to the, to the coal burning, yeah. let, let the coal, not, not stopping everyone from doing that, to coal burn the... The, uh, the the, the uh, bush around the your clearances, house, yep. so you can clear the clear the house. And what do you need today, though? Because you are running out of food, or have you run out of food? Well, it, uh, we've been lucky because we've been with uh, with the McKelby family and uh, and uh, you know another family down there who've been looking after us, you know, mm. and, and they've had, lucky they've had pretty good supplies. But that's all coming to an end, and we've got, we need food. We've got to be able to leave here to go and get food. The shops have got nothing. There's no water on the shelves or anything. There's literally nothing in the shops. There's nothing in the shops, yeah. There's and a, and you can't leave. And we're not allowed to leave. <laughs> so do you feel a bit cut off? A bit well, I think it's a bit bloody. It's just crazy that, that they're doing it that doing that to us. Um, you know, we need we need to be able to, to get back into go into town and, and come back if we've got to, you know, but a lot of people want to go back to, you know, a lot of people come from Sydney here, so they want to go back home and they can't get out. Are you going to rebuild? Yeah, we'll rebuild. I mean, I'm getting a bit old to be doing it, but uh, I mean, I've had such a, we've had such a good time here. My kids love it here and, and, um, and my grandkids and all that, you know, yeah. so we'll... A lot of memories. We'll have another go. Yeah. yeah. Ron, so thank you so much for coming down. It's been Thanks, a privilege mate. talking to you and all the very best. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Ron Coots, one of the locals here, rugby league legend, but a man who wants to rebuild his house.